How are you doing? Welcome to the brand new Sonic Coffees, a fun place where customers can buy all kinds of crazy desserts and coffees. <laughs> anyway, as your guide, I'll tell you what you have to do each night. We let the robots walk around so that they don't suffer from malfunctions. And since they don't have a nightly schedule, they'll confuse their facial recognition systems with anyone. But don't worry, we gave you the necessary tools to defend yourself against them. So I'll be telling you what to do for this first night, all right there, rookie? Okay. So we basically have new robots now, like I said before. They'll mess up their facial recognition systems with anyone. So I'll tell you what to do with each of them. You don't have to worry about the rest of the robots for this night, but the only robots that will move for this night are our new robots, the Sonic, Mario, and Yoshi ones. If Sonic happens to come in through the center of your office and comes in, just put on the Tails mask to make him go away. If Mario happens to come in through the right vent, just use the Yoshi mask we have there. It doesn't really cover your face, so you're gonna have to use your hand to hold it over your face and pretend for it to be a mask. That will make him go away. And if Yoshi appears in the left vent, just use the Mario mask. If you happen to get confused of which mask to use, just remember whose is whose friend. Alright, that's all you need to know. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
making that child's self-esteem go down was very easy. Hello, rookie, and welcome to your second day of work. So the new characters that will be moving this night are Candy Toad and New Tails, also known as Maggie Tails Prower. In our next attraction, our newest attraction, Shadow the Puppeteer Hedgehog, along with his best friend, Amy Nett. If you see Toad coming from the vents, just shine the flashlight in his face until he leaves. If you see New Tails trying to come in through the center, just flip on the sonic mask. But if she does happen to get in, you're basically screwed. Now for Shadow, he works a bit differently. He will move little by little, and if you see him in the door behind you, quickly hide under the mini desk to your left. And if you hear Amy Nett's laugh, quickly tap the music box. Now the box doesn't have its defined music, but it is prone to calm down whenever someone touches its box. Now, how about a little fun fact? Shadow was actually supposed to be our newest Sonic. Of course, then the new Sonic came along. Shadow's design was a little too edgy for kids, so we just decided to scrap that idea. Days later, a box appeared in the cafe with his parts in it, so we just took advantage of it and assembled him. They still did not charge us. But a few days later, that Amy puppet appeared in his hand, and it worked. Oh, I think I rambled on a bit too much there. I think I should be going. See you later, rookie.
Hi. Uh, sorry. Um, welcome to your third work day. You know, remember when me and Dave didn't have much in common? He was the night guard at Fan Mario's Cafe. I think you knew that by now. Being the son of Dave at the first cafe, Fan Mario's and Super Yellow's Cafe. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Okay, um, now onto the older animatronics. I'm sure you already knew this, but we keep the old animatronics moving as well so their servers won't break. Just be careful with them, alright? I'll tell you what to do with each of them. If Rusty Tails happens to appear in the window in front of you, just keep flashing your light at him. The masks will not stop him. Now if you see Rusty Mario in any of the vent cameras, you'll have to shock him, of course, in the cameras. He doesn't have a face, so he can't see you, but he can hear you. So what I'm saying is, be very careful. Ah, Dave Koopa. How I miss my old pal. Oh, um, I think that's all I have to say for today. I'm about to get going now.
Hey, Wallace. What are you doing? Oh, you're in the cafe. Right. I forgot that. Your job. Okay, then, whatever. Rusty Yoshi's gonna be on the move tonight. If Rusty Yoshi appears in the office, the room will go completely dark, and you'll have to shine the light in his face to make him leave. And that's about it. That was really quick. I have free time, so, uh, since robot- I mean, your father, Dave, disappeared, I think that cafe has not been the same since. Customers have stopped coming due to default child deaths. There's a really weird smell coming from the backstage. And there's really strong demands of Nintendo and Sega. I don't really know why I keep doing this. I mean, it's not like I had fun doing this. This did start out as an idea of your father and me. And that idea kind of turned into this. I still have no idea why these things move. Oh, I feel like my time is up now. Alright. Bye, Wallace. It's me. You're dead. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey Wallace, it's me again. Listen, you're gonna need to come one more night. We need staff here for tomorrow and, well, you're the only one I know. Anyway, there's one more character that'll be roaming around tonight, and that's Rusty Sonic. He doesn't come into the office, but he does have a music box that you'll need to wind up so that he doesn't kill you. But the problem with that is, he won't stay still in one place. He will move around the whole building. Um, I don't know what else to say to be honest with you. So, uh, son, uh, why do I keep confusing you with him? Your, your father. Sorry, I, I, I mean, sorry. I'm kind of being carried away by my thoughts here. The children really died. I, I, I can feel it. One day. And I know one day, all of this will collapse. Uh, damn you, Robotnik. You made me do all of this. You deserve to suffer for all of your actions. You deserve to die. For everything. Uh-oh. I'm still on the call. Uh, sorry, Wallace. Uh, sorry, Wallace, I have to go. Uh, see ya.
See? 